huge welcome everybody to Eigen TV. Um, today we've got an exciting topic for you and we'll be talking about the future of Digital Twin. Um, Dave Hodgson and Andrew DeLuca have joined us from KBR. Um, and if you actually go back on our YouTube channel, you'll be able to see that we did an entire Digital Twin series with these two lovely gentlemen. Um, so please do go back and um, watch that. And of course, if you've got any comments whatsoever, pop them below and we will get back to you as quickly as we can. So a huge welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. So you mentioned something about step by step earlier. And to me, I think that's the key that you don't have to wait till you've got it all sorted no. to come up with something that actually it's like making a map. Mm. You, you can start with a map for the journey you want to go on almost. Yes. And you fill in the details for that and then you just keep, just keep advancing it. But that means the key is that you need to start with something that you can grow. Okay, this is this possibly the subject of a different thing, but this is where technologies from like graph databases may become important because they allow you this flexibility of yeah. you, you can add the structure over time, um, keep it backwards compatible. If it's it another new analogy, sailing across the Atlantic, first of all, you need to roughly know where you're going, but you, you need to know I'm going to sail across the Atlantic, I'm going to get to the East Coast. America, but you don't actually have to decide whether you're going to go to New York or Boston just yet. Yeah. Or possibly even, um, you know, Antigua or something like that. But first of all, you do need a boat that is adequately equipped to cope with the storms. And you also need a pretty good course to get you out of, let's imagine you're going from Southampton, out of the sun, not bump into the Isle of Wight, I think. Yourself past Portland and get yourself past um, uh, you know, the south of Ireland. You don't want to bump into any of those things. So, so you have to be pretty precise about your next few days, but you don't have to be precise about yeah. anything after a week. By the time you've got down, gone down five days, you probably need to know what you're going to do in the next 10 days after that. And you probably need to decide sometime by the time you're in the mid Atlantic whether you're going to go to New York or Boston, but you don't need to know now. But what I was going to uh, thinking, what's coming to my mind is, um, it, of course, we should be as ambitious with 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 the the scale of what's being done. But a few, uh, one thing I uh, draw a parallel with, we're trying to split um, those things that w which are going to be executive or safety driven and need to be controlled versus those things where it's just information or or useful reference. And if you separate those two. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I'll give an example. We we use some um, Wi-Fi instruments on some of um, our, you know it's high pressure, it's 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 oil and gas. You know it's it's high consequence. So um, although Wi-Fi is a fairly proven technology, I think we all know from when our internet doesn't function perfectly that it's not perfect. So mm -hmm. if we separate uh, what we just call information signals, like by the way, how hot is this? It's for information versus uh, a true pressure trip, and you separate them, you actually get a really good. Uh, way of, of of being able to sort that the information away, and I think I think they would apply really well here as well. And maybe in five years' time, they'll have overcome the technical issues with Wi-Fi, so that you don't need a hardwired pressure trip. But I completely agree. I think it's probably a mad idea to do do that these days. 